Hello, loved ones. How are you doing today? Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you, subscribers, for subscribing uh, to us. If you're new to the channel, hit our subscribe button right now. Uh, my name is Reverend Penelope Stewart. You can follow Chemistry on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Today, I wanted to talk about karmic loops. You heard me mention a little bit about karmic loops yesterday, and you're probably thinking to yourself, what's a karmic loop? I've, I've never heard of that term before. I've never talked about it on this channel uh, because I'm dealing with a lot of this stuff. I'm going to talk about it uh, with you today. I like to talk about it when I'm personally going through that, that experience. I think I can, I can describe it better if I have experienced it. That's just my opinion. But let me dive in here and talk about karmic loops. I got some notes here. Karmic loops are behaviors and patterns that are repetitive. The same action produces the same reaction or result. If you want different results in your life, you will want to change the actions that are producing the results. Karmic loop is when our thoughts and vibrations does not change, hence allowing us to remain in a place that is stuck and divided on the lower side of duality without ever stopping to question and think if it if it's right for us. So uh, a good example of a karmic loop uh, for me, I know I found myself in these unhealthy relationships. Didn't know why, but I kept recycling the same relationship. It was like the same stuff, but the different, you know, but a different person. And I didn't know where it was coming from. And it was because my vibration, I was on that lower vibration attracting that same experience to me. And I needed to raise my vibrations. I started really working on raising my vibrations, trying to uh, draw a healthy relationship. That's when I really started doing uh, some work on myself and started looking at myself and saying that I needed to become the significant other that I wanted in my life. And so I really started doing some work on myself. But then it had to, it went deeper once I started doing the work on myself for that. I just kept doing work. I started finding out more and more about myself once I started doing that. If you have a karma to resolve in a close relationship, you may be sucked into a whirlpool of repetitive past patterns and behaviors that appears to have very little to do with your conscious wishes and actions. But because you know the pattern, you're compelled to repeat it. Sometimes we, we just, we're not aware of it. And so we just do it over and over and over and over again. You know, um, that goes to family relationships too. You know, even though I knew that that my family, we can only get along for so long, we, we repeat the same pattern over and over again. And it was a lot of emotional and psychological abuse in that, in that family dynamics. And I kept repeating it over and over again. And see, that's a difficult thing to try to uh, repair. It's difficult to do that because there is, there is some, uh, like I was talking about yesterday, there are some soul ties there. So... The thing is to get yourself out of that karmic loop, all right? And I, that can be difficult to do with family when everybody in the family is in the karmic loop. Everybody, you kind of uh, you kind of recycle the experience because everybody is in the karmic loop, all right? So, and that makes you stuck too because you get sucked back in to that karmic loop. And you can see that in relationships as well, uh, romantic relationships as well, but it's really stronger. It's really strong in families because of that love dynamic that's there, that 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 bond that's there, that soul ties there. It's really stronger in family. All right, making new patterns takes much more effort and brings unsettling change. It could mean you have to look at yourself in a new light, which can be a daunt, which can feel daunting. What if you are not who you thought you are? Friends and family may threaten, may feel threatened by you changing and oppose it because it brings to light 
things they need to break free from their own lives. And see, that's what I'm going through right now. Once you start changing, because your family might be on a lower vibration, and you start changing and you start coming into to enlightening, you start uh, evolving, that's going to make them uncomfortable because it's like holding up a mirror, making them look at themselves, and they're just not ready to make that change yet. And that's what I'm going through right now. I'm still, I'm really scapegoated now because I've made the change and they're not really ready to look at themselves like that. They're really not ready to do that kind of change in themselves. They're really not ready. So I'm being really scapegoated uh, right now because I have exposed the abuse and I have talked about the karmic loop that the family is stuck in. Love should be peaceful, beautiful, experience filled with mutual respect, joy, space to grow. If you're hypnotized by someone who controls, mistreats, or lies to you, but you still refuse to believe they're deliberately hurting you, you're in a karmic relationship. And that is so hard, I guess, too. That's hard in a, in a, in a romantic relationship. Like I said, these... You see more of those dynamics in a narcissistic relationship, like I said um, in the other video. However, I'm going to say this again. With family, it's very hard to believe that they're deliberately hurting you, that they're really getting something out of this. And we want to believe that, you know, they're not deliberately doing this, that they really love us. But even if it's family... That could be your karmic lesson. And it definitely was mine. And it was it's very hard. I'm not going to tell you it's easy. It's very hard because you find yourself being lonely sometimes. And, you know, it's a very hard karmic lesson. But the more I accept it, because it takes a lot of accepting it and, and getting your emotions out of it because it's a lesson. And it's, it's very hard separating the two. You know, it's very hard separating the two. I know that because I'm living it. But once you start doing that and start applying the changes and really start working on the karmic loop that's in your ancestral, you know, it's in your lineage, it's better. And then a, a, a way I look at it, too, is looking at the karmic loop. Once I came aware of the karmic loop that was in the family it was like, oh, the ancestors have been speaking to me all the time through these patterns and behavior, telling me what I needed to work on to heal the family. But I wasn't about the awareness wasn't there. But once the awareness was there, I was like, oh, so this is what's going on with my ancestors and how I need to correct this karmic loop and get out of it. And some of them are just stuck in into it. It's like a trance that they're stuck in. They keep repeating the same cycle. They keep repeating this. It's like a trance. It's like being living a nightmare. You know, like they're just caught up in it like a zombie, almost like, you know, even though they're walking around and they're talking and all this, they're still stuck in that frequency, that trans frequency of that karmic loop. All right. And we have to be careful as well. Because when we separate ourselves from them, we kind of get ourselves out of the karmic loop. But it's easy to get yourself sucked back in there because of the behavior patterns and stuff. You can get quickly get sucked back in to the karmic loop. So you have to be careful, you know, if you are dealing with the karmic loop. Okay, I'm going to explain a little bit more about that later. One of the first things to accept if you're in a karmic loop, a karmic relationship, is that you are actually in one. You're not a fool to have mistaken the intense feelings you experience as love or felt that you are bound together in an inevitable dance with someone who is controlling you like a puppet. Because that's exactly what it is when somebody can control your emotions and your behaviors. They are actually controlling you. You have no control over yourself. All right, because that, that's what that means there. To break the pattern, one of, one of you or someone needs to evolve. 
Tackling your personal fears, negative patterns has the potential to completely rewire your spiritual life path. It is also important to recognize the, the other person in the relationship as a powerful force in your life. They are, you know, they really are. Their job is to wake you up to the karmic loop. I know it's sad because it was sad to me. I was just like, oh my gosh, it's just the, the, this is just evil. This is just not right, you know. However, looking at the lesson on the flip side, you know, that person, these, they taught me a valuable lesson. You know, my family is teaching to me a valuable, it is the most powerful lesson I would ever learn in this lifetime. All right. So, yeah, it was very painful. It was very ugly, but it was a very powerful lesson in it. It, 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 it sparked a spiritual awakening in me and, and helps me evolve you know, each and every day as I work on this karmic loop. Uh, they are teaching you a valuable lesson, one that you could free free you from an endless loop of negative behavior. Because it sure, it, it really is. Their behavior has freed me from a loop of my negative behavior, causing me to look at myself how I was contributing to the problem by reacting to it. So now I can't just look at their behavior. I have to focus on my behavior, how I was reacting to it and letting that energy kind of control me. I had, And that's breaking the trends, bringing your awareness to the karmic loop, that your awareness is everything in your spiritual journey. So bringing your awareness to it is the first step to really looking at it and then the second step is acceptance and then the third step is action which really you start really working on yourself now i have a program as i've mentioned before called called know thyself and it really helps deal with a lot of these defects karmic loops karmic debts of soul ties it helps deal with all of that stuff inner child stuff emotional baggage trauma it helps deal with all of that stuff if you're interested in, in taking my course once you assert yourself or take a charge of the situation in a conscious way you'll feel the burden burden slowly lift it's like you're coming out of a fog too because your awareness you're just like you just start being aware of everything like oh my gosh once you start, you know, clearing it up and working on yourself, your awareness and your intuition just heighten. You think your third eye is open, but when you really start doing the work on yourself, you really like, you really can see, like, see, you can see. Communicating your needs and wishes, not tolerating unkindness, because some of us are pushovers too. If you're experiencing this, that means that you need to assert yourself too. That's what you're supposed to learn in this sticking up for your opinions and beliefs and mostly important forgiving yourself will melt those binding karmic ties into oblivion so it takes uh conscious work to work on those karmic loops like i said i did some core cutting uh, working on some soul ties to get myself out of the karmic loop i hope this video was insightful for you i hope it helped you if you're interested in my course, please click the link below and you can start my course at any time. If you're interested in knowing more about my story, how I came to meet the ancestors that started on my started me on my healing journey, I can send you my free book as well. All right. Thank you for being here today. Light and love. May the ancestors be with you.